We're going to explore the exciting world of realistic gravity and collisions on Android. I'll be testing our physics simulation with a car and truck on a balanced plane, and I'll be explaining the key controls that make it all work. Let's start by setting up our scene. We'll create a balanced plane and add our car and truck models. I'll also set up the physics simulation and adjust the settings to achieve realistic results, and I make sure they're properly scaled and positioned. Now, let's dive into the physics controls that make our simulation work. I'll be looking at three key controls, mass, friction, and bounciness. These controls will help us achieve realistic interactions between our car and truck. Mass determines how heavy or light our objects are, and it affects how they interact with each other. Friction controls how much resistance our objects experience when they come into contact with each other. And bounciness determines how much energy is lost or retained when our objects collide. Now that we've set up our scene and understood our physics controls, let's test our simulation. I'll place our car and truck on the balance plane and see how they interact with each other. Then I set the base plane to statics physics mode, and I set both the truck and the car to motion mode, while I set the balance plane to motion mode as well and set the object in the middle of it on statics mode. Since we all know the truck has weight more than the car so I increase the mass and friction of the truck, and I increase only friction of the car while I leave the mass low more than the truck. Then I also increase the friction of the balance plane. As we can see, our car and truck are interacting realistically, with the car being pushed by the truck due to its larger mass. The friction and bounciness controls are also working as expected, creating a realistic collision response. Let's adjust our physics settings to see how it affects our simulation. I'll increase the mass of the truck and decrease the friction on the plane. Let's see how it changes the interaction between our car and truck. As we can see, the increased mass of the truck has made it more dominant in the collision, while the decreased friction has allowed the car to slide further. Now that we've covered the basics of physics simulation, let's explore some advanced techniques. I'll look at how to create complex collisions, simulate realistic gravity, and optimize our physics simulation for performance. By mastering these advanced techniques, you'll be able to create stunning and realistic physics simulations that will take your 3D projects to the next level. Here are some tips and tricks to keep in mind when working with physics simulations in Prisma 3D 3.1. First, make sure to adjust the physics settings to achieve the desired effect. Second, use the physics debugger to troubleshoot any issues. And third, Experiment with different physics settings to achieve unique and realistic results. When working with physics simulations, it's easy to make mistakes that can affect the realism and performance of your simulation. Here are some common mistakes to avoid and how to troubleshoot them. Don't increase the bounce too much, and remember to increase friction a little bit to avoid overreacting of objects. By avoiding these common mistakes, you'll be able to create more realistic and efficient physics simulations that will enhance your 3D projects. And that's it. We've successfully created a realistic physics simulation using Prisma 3D 3.1 on Android. By understanding and adjusting our physics controls, we can achieve stunning and realistic results.